Today I thought we'd talk about my feet. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what we're going to do is talk about this game. Uh, so the uh, here's the situation. It's well, I think we're just wrapping up the end of the 8th of uh, April in 1941, and I'm making a prediction here that either due to my poor play or, uh, well, let's just leave it at my poor play because I really don't know how balanced this game is, but uh, I seem to have a lot, much easier time uh, executing as the uh, Axis player than I do uh, as the, uh, the Allies. Uh, so much so that uh, you know, once again, we're we're faced with uh, another potential envelopment. Uh, you know, being surrounded and all this sort of good stuff. And the what happened was uh, during the Allies move first. So um, during the reaction phase, I rolled for this stack here. And even though I had them in move mode, uh, in uh, combat mode, we managed to uh, hoof them around to here, from roughly from here, half their movement. Uh, so got to here and started putting pressure on on this area. Actually, they you know what happened? Sorry, let me just rewind that. A lot of garbage. They were actually seated back here a little further, and I moved them down to about here during the reaction phase to get a quick a quick start on the next turn. So I fueled them up, rolled for the Kampf group, uh, Kampf group leaders and succeeded and then got them around to here. Uh, next turn, so then it became the uh, Axis turn. Uh, these guys were popped into move mode and it may be vice versa, it's one or the other, but uh, I'll tell you, in fact, I think these are the reinforcements. The two Panzer Battalions, yeah, there they are. There's the two Panzer Battalions. Uh, anyway, uh, they they hoofed in from all the way over here. So now we've we've kind of come around the end here, and we're we're pressing in hard. So the Allies, uh, the Allies had their uh, reaction phase in the Axis turn, and they pulled the units from here and units from here. They rolled successfully for their two uh, uh, two groups, and they've now got uh, pieces to try and fill this hole. But I can tell you what's gonna happen next turn is we're gonna leapfrog around this again. And I'm gonna keep doing that and stretching this line until I pop it. Now the case will, like what will eventually happen is somewhere along here, Either the Italians will be too thin or the Allies will be too thin and uh, someone's going to have to work out where that is and when that is and uh, they're going to crank on each other. But here's the kicker. If you come down to this end of the map and look at the, look at the reinforcements, this is the 15th Panther Division and it's... Uh, <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll fess up and uh, admit that I made a mistake uh, bringing reinforcements on. The way I'm reading this here and reading the rules, you really can't move units from new to old until such time as this box is empty of the old. You can't just roll guys through other than the roll, Rommel's reinforcements, when Rommel first arrives. So uh, I have been playing that wrong and I had uh, been uh, cherry picking the best units for the uh, for the access to bring through. So I've got a whole bunch of guys that I, I've held up the 15th, 15th Panzer for a couple of turns. Uh, and you know, when you're bringing all these guys on, I, I just kept them up in the old box uh, to avoid having to pay a supply for them. And you can't do that. So uh, given the, that in February, the shipping is particularly bad, February and March, well, actually it's February that's the worst, uh, that, that probably would have had an impact on my ability to bring units through. But the important point about all that is that it was only really uh, Rommel's forces get, got to come through anyway, uh, so it was mainly a bunch of uh, hackneyed uh, breakout guys that were now bringing back on the board. So I don't think we uh, have done ourselves too many uh, uh, poor favors here or disservices, as the case may be. So uh, I've got this coming on, so that there's a lot of a lot of pressure on the Allies. If we come back to the other end of the field. 
Sorry for moving so fast, but I'm on a wheelie chair. This is the uh, this is the losses so far. These units can't be replaced. These are all replaceable. But I don't have any I don't have any way to build anything until later in the year. Uh, in fact, where are my replacements? I don't know where they are. Here they are. Oh, that's not them. I don't know where they are. I've got a couple of replacement points somewhere. Maybe I used them already. Uh, so you're the uh, seventh armor has just taken an absolute ass kicking. Uh, I think second is in there as well somewhere. Sixth has lost a couple. Uh, pretty dire straits. I'm still rolling for and taking. Uh, that's a picture of the wall. <laughs> I'm still rolling for and taking losses uh, and units out of uh, the battle for Greece. And here's the, the the count so far. Pretty devastating. You know, uh, one, two, three. Four, five, uh, five brigades, and a couple of battalions of miscellaneous crap. Six brigades that once reduced, and then next turn uh, coming up, another infantry brigade. That's that Polish unit which can't uh, can't come back and can't do anything anyway. But I think uh, the the rolls are going to start. I've got a much higher chance now of ending this, and then we'll uh, move to the uh, execution phase. And that will then, uh, if we can get through that in a reasonable amount of time, that will help us uh, then start seeing, get to the termination phase, uh, and then start seeing some units return. All right. So that's kind of the situation. And what my prediction really is, is that I, I, I think uh, at some point, uh, the access in particular are going are gonna to wipe out or surround a bunch of units, and we're going to be done. Um, I'm, as the Allied player, I'm reluctant to give up these two ports. It took a long time to get them, and I don't think it'd be smart to uh, just walk away from them. Uh, City Barani is no uh, easier to defend than uh, either of these two areas. But if I don't do something, I've got nothing. I've really got nothing here to stop a just pell mell uh, uh, run for I don't know Alexandria or something. The thing that holds people back is supply, and that's where the big challenge is for the uh, access right now. They're down to two SP here. They've got uh, one more SP there and a bunch over there. Uh, we've had to use a lot of supply to get uh, these forces to, to incrementally move these forces up. So it's a really, really, um, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's frustrating, but it's very interesting play. Uh, I don't know what else I want to say about it right now, but uh, I'm trying to share this with you so that you know if you get to the point where you've played 50 or 60 turns and it's looking hopeless, I, I, I think you should. I think we. Well, I'm obviously going to keep going uh, because there's lots of game in here, but uh, it, it's tight, man. This is a really finely tuned uh, exercise in uh, pushing yourself forward. And bringing supply up, I think it, perhaps if I had uh, managed my supply better, we could be much further along as the Germans. But I really didn't. I don't have enough guys on the board to uh, protect my own interior lines. So uh, lots of challenges here, and really, really interesting stuff. Uh, uh, I just thought I'd share with some of that with you anyway, and, uh, and share some of my feelings about the whole situation. And we'll uh, we'll let it run from there. Talk to you soon. We'll uh, probably pick it up. Uh, I'll see you guys on the. Uh, Maybe the 19th of uh, April or something like that. Ciao.